Hello and welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. This is Ilan Paul, and today we're going to be doing the Adrift Expedition. We're going to be doing it not in a speedrun capacity, but more in a efficiency capacity. So we're going to be talking about how to do the run. Of course, it's as most people are doing it, if we take a look at this right now, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to do it straight from a new game, not from a current save. We'll get that going right now. And the way we're going to do this is we are going to do this in such a way, not by phases. So when you see the title of this, it says part one. It doesn't say phase one. So a lot of folks are doing it in phases. This is how you do all the milestones from phase one, all the milestones from phase two. We're going to do this in an efficient manner. So what that means is for the first hour, you're going to see what you should do on the planet as you get started. And what things you need and what things you don't need. Some things along those lines. So we're going to take a look at this right now. And as we get started, as you can see, we fade in to the usual area. Interesting. Shouldn't be seeing that right now. That means somebody created a base here. <laughs> and has it powered. Yeah. Great job, guys. Yeah. We may try to get rid of that. We'll see what happens. So as we take a pan around, first thing we're going to notice that the planet you're on is devoid of most life, no plants, except for the usual ones you'll find that are like oxygen and sodium, things like that. You also notice you have rocks all over the place. You're going to need a lot of ferrite. So let's talk about the basic necessities that you need in any game when you first start out. Plus you got the worms going past you, but don't worry about those. They can't hurt you. All right, so we're going to take a look at this right now. So as we get into the expedition, you'll notice that there are obviously five phases. They each have eight or seven milestones per phase. You are not going to complete all eight of these in the first hour. Okay, you're going to complete most of these in the first hour. Actually, you'll probably get all eight of these, but you're also going to get some from here, from here, from here, and from here. So you're going to need some basic necessities. The first thing you're going to need, as with any game that you start, regardless of expedition, you need necessities. You need carbon, condensed carbon. You need ferrite. You need magnetized ferrite for this run. You're also going to need lots of oxygen and some other items, including sodium and sodium nitrate. So all the basic elements that you normally need in any game, you're going to need from the get-go in this. So first things first, let's take a look at what we've got. Here's our... Uh, our technology in our exosuit we're going to move things over for the ability to be efficient so i'm going to put this in my supercharged slot my life support and the neural stimulator for now until i get an upgrade you're provided with two life support gels and some ammunition you're going to need that so we're going to complete so many different uh milestones during the first hour it's going to be kind of mind-boggling but i'll be keeping an eye on the time the next thing is, you're going to be getting over to your starship, and we're going to be talking about that in just a few moments. And lastly, we're talking about a multi-tool. Now, ignore the supercharged slots over here. Yours probably will not have those. This is just a uh, glitch in the system, if you will. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my bolt caster over here, because I'm going to need it soon. Um, 1363, let me see what happens. There we go. I'm going to give it a little more juice here to charge it up. Yeah, it makes no difference. You have your terrain manipulator, fully charged. You have your scanner. You want to put them close by to each other so they have some effect on each other, please. And then finally, you have uh, an analysis visor and your mining beam. I'm going to stick my mining beam down here. Charging it up a little bit more will allow me to pull more uh, minerals from some of the things that I shoot. Now, before you um, start pulling anything out of here, like mining the rocks near you, scan them. Because not only are you getting ferrite out of them, but you're getting oxygen from some of these rocks. Other rocks, the smaller ones, are going to have usually dihydrogen, I believe it is. Yes, it is. And there's a third type of rock here, but we don't see them here just yet. So take some of the ferrite dust. You're going to need it. Dihydrogen. You're going to need it. You need a bunch of it. The dihydrogen, just having a couple of hundred of it, is usually more than enough. And you'll find fields of dihydrogen as you normally do. Nothing special going on there. Now... Just so you do, you understand this, um, as a statement on the side, this is not a voiceover. I am actually doing this at the same time that I'm recording. 
So there are going to be times when I'm going to stop and I'm going to talk about other things. So let's go ahead and get this started. So we got a uh, crystal out of it. Let's jump back over there. I can get over there. There we go. You're going to need a lot more ferrite than this. You're probably going to need a, several hundred ferrite and at least a few hundred oxygen. So we're going to head towards our starship now. But before you do, do a quick scan of your surroundings. And if you find anything around you that you can use, for instance, there's C plus over there. We're going to go ahead and get that. You're not going to find carbon at all on this particular run. It's only going to be condensed carbon. The only time you're going to find carbon is if it happens to be in a, in a cargo drop or something like that. But if you take a look around, and by the way, I don't have my advanced mining laser yet. So if you take a look around, you're going to see that there literally is no cargo drops anywhere. At all. But we do have an underground subterranean relic, which means we're going to go underground. Why? We need cobalt. So let's head over that way. Looks like it's down there, so that means we should get a little aerial view here. It's a low atmo planet, so you should see an entrance to a cave here someplace. Looks like it's over there. Okay, so while you're going, pick up some more oxygen and more uh, more rocks. Some of the smaller rocks also, you can scan them. They do have secondary elements too. In this case, they have carbon. So if you go with the smaller rocks, you might be able to get some carbon out of them. Hmm. There was a rock there I actually didn't uh, know was uh, present. Fascinating. Anyway, so moving on. I'm just going to keep getting some more ferrite. And it looks like this is the entrance to our cave. Very narrow. Pick up these marrow bulbs. You're going to be converting them into sodium later. They're a one-to-one -one ratio, so however many marrow bulbs you get is how much sodium you're going to end up with. I do suggest getting... Let's see, you're going to need at least about 100 sodium nitrate, so you probably want about 200 of those marrow bulbs if you can get them. Also, one of the milestones you have to get is this, and I'll show it to you in just a moment. And the worm follows you around. Don't worry, it's not going to run into you. One of the other milestones you need to get is... Let me see if I can't find it. Hold on. It's here. I know it's here. There it is. Eliz eliminating hazardous flora. You need to get nine of those plants. And it's part of phase five, even though we're already at phase one. So if you take a look, obviously, after the worm passes, you see that these caves do have hazardous flora. You probably remember this, these from the uh, Weekend Anomaly mission videos that we've done. So there we go. So we've got two of those plants already. So if you find more, get them. Because if you can complete that on this planet, then you, it's one less planet you have to go to, to to get them. Looks like we got one right in front of us. There you go, got a whole set of them. So we got two. Let's see how many more we can get. Three. Looks like a group to our left, too. Four. Depleted. Good thing we picked up some condensed carbon, right? It goes through it pretty quick. Five. Six. There's number seven. And number eight. We need one more. While we're waiting, grab your cobalt. The bottom ones don't have a secondary element, so no need to waste time scanning for them. You need about about 200 cobalt or so. Is usually a good idea. Because you not only need it to repair things, but you're going to need it also to um, create some batteries for yourself. Because while this planet may not require it, other planets do. Let's see how much we have. 187 with that rock that we just got, so let's pull a little bit more. Alright, I'm going to just get one more for, for safekeeping. And then we want to look for one more. There it is. Right there. Number nine. Hazardous Flora. Achievement made. So one milestone is complete. How much sodium did we get? Let's take a look real quick. 145. We do need, like I said, about 200. So let's just get a little bit more. And it looks like we got some sodium too, by the way. And 
and I'll just get one more. And then we're out of here. You notice the roof of this cavern? Whole lot of others up there. We're not going to go that way. Okay. Take it easy. Get out the easy way. There you go. Do a quick scan before you head to your ship. So you can pick things up along the way. Now again, we need dihydrogen. Looks like we got some on the other side of this hill here. So we're going to pick up some of that too. And again, we're not doing this in a speed run fashion. It is going to be a little quicker than usual. Take your time, do things right. Some of the things that we're going to be doing in the in future episodes, like going through a derelict crater in space, we're going to take a quick view on how to get it done much, much faster and a little less uh, painstaking than you would normally do it. We'll pick up the ferrite while we're at it. All right, let's see how much we got. All right, we're almost up to 200. I do need a little bit more of that. But we're going to get it as we go. Now, one of the other things you'll see on this planet, besides the oxygen and the night and the uh, sodium, is you're going to see worm burrows, and occasionally you're also going to see some eggs. Pick up some of the eggs, like this one here. It's going to release our buddies, you know, the, the horrors from the ground, but just run away from them. Don't Don't try to take them on. Just pick up the egg and go. They will kind of come after you a little bit, but you should have time to pick up resources along the way without them bothering you too, too much. Again, we need about 200. There we go. And we're off. Do a quick scan. Scanning's going to be your friend. These big rocks here are also very, very good. They take a while to take down, but they give you a lot more ferrite. See? You just move out of their way. <laughs> Lots of oxygen. Pick up all the oxygen you can get. If you can find yourself a nice patch of them... Ah, well, I'll just say you're lucky. <laughs> the swarm subsiding. See, we got another... Well, I thought we had another cave there. I guess we don't. I'm going a little further away from my ship than I wanted to. Uh, we've got a lot of dihydrogen. We've got a good amount of ferrite. We have one egg so far. And you're probably wondering, what are we going to do with that, uh, you know, that's those, those flowers? Well, I mean, we don't have a refiner, right? Well, you're going to get one as part of the way of doing things around here. So let's head on. Whoop. <laughs> Interrupted me there. But we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and get them. We'll get it taken care of. We're gonna get a personal refiner out of this, but a Mark II version of it, not the Mark I. So it can it can actually do two things at the same time. Now the good thing about getting to your ship sooner rather than later, we could keep looking around, but let's get to the ship because you get a milestone complete by doing so. You also get four oxygen plants over there. So let's collect that. Why? Because we get an advanced mining laser and a teleport receiver unit for our ship. So we get a recipe, but we also get the the laser. So let me see. Do we have anything that we can open these up with? This one over here. Nope, we don't have it. So I'm going to put my laser over here and put my other one over here. So we need to make a hermetic seal. We need 120 copper, which I, if I hadn't mentioned it before, which I don't think I did, we're going to need copper. And we need to make two metal plates. Now, the recipes are slightly different. For the metal plates, it's pretty much the same. They're just with ferrite, except you require 50 ferrite to make the metal plates. But the hermetic seal requires 30 oxygen instead of condensed carbon or anything like that. Let's go ahead and put this in our ship while we're here. There we go. And we're back. Now, you notice in the Shar ship, there was also something else. There's this. If you're lucky, you'll get something good. I got a scanner module. That's actually not terrible. So as we scan things, let's move our scanners over here. We should get some bonuses, I hope. Mineral and fauna. Okay, that gives us a little bit of extra money. And we definitely need to install our advanced mining laser. So we're going to be doing that really, really soon. Gather the oxygen while you can. Check all the kits around here. Because you're looking for microprocessors. Usually that one's empty, but you notice it gave me sodium nitrate this time. Collect the rusted metal for now. You're going to turn that into ferrite dust. Later. Alright, we got some more sodium. This will just probably give us nanites, but it's good... 
to check anyway. Every now and then they come with an upgrade. And got a Gek Relit out of the cabinet, and there's our nanites. Okay. So let's go back in here. So these are the items we have. We're going to turn this into something else. We've got two of the items we need for our multi-tool. So let's go ahead and get that fixed. Uh, where is it? The advanced mining laser. There you go. So let's add those two in. Now we need to look for some copper. That's our next goal, and to pick things up along the way. Now you see how it's pointing the way towards copper. Look for the ones that are closest. We've got one that's 148 away, but make sure it's not near a burrow. That's pretty far away, so that's good. And we got another one at 619 and we need to get more. And 350. Okay, so let's head over to this one. Do a quick scan, like I keep saying, and you'll find out what it is. If you're wondering what the red stuff is, that's cursed dust. That is actually worth quite a bit. So we're going to switch over to our manipulator. We're going to put it on the smallest setting. And we're going to pick up as much of this copper as we can. Now we really need just a few hundred of it. If you get two, three hundred, that's good. Four hundred would be better. We are going to get, be getting some activated copper later. We're going to turn some of this into chromatic metal, but keep it in its raw form for now, because you're going to need it to repair certain items. So as we pick all this up, you'll notice that my count is going up. We're up to about 90 now. 100. We're getting there. I know this is long and painstaking, but I'm not going to pause the video and come back. You guys are going to see it in all its uh, torturous amounts. Around 150 now. It's probably going to switch over to silicate any time now. 75, 180. We're getting close to 200 now. Good. Keep going. Keep going. Let's take it all in the small form. That way we can get as much of this as we can. I'm hoping for at least 300, but you see I'm now I'm kind of I'm kind of uh, tearing away at the edges here to get as much of this as possible. So we really don't know how much we have yet. We probably are closing in on the 300 mark. But I'm going to gather up all the edges of this because this is a small deposit. Some deposits are really, really big and you get a lot more out of them. But this one happens to be smaller. So 40... 38, that's where our, our, our uh, terrain manipulator is at right now. Now you are going to need a lot of silicate in order to recharge this, because you're going to be doing some mining at the very beginning, both on this planet and other planets, so go ahead and gather what you can now. There we go. Alright, that should be enough from here. And I'm going to switch over to the flattening tool. Let it bring me down. There we go. And then start carving away. You're going to get whatever vestiges are left of the copper, but you're going to get mostly silicate powder. And watch your numbers climb radically as you cut into mountains. It should go up pretty quick now. You want a few hundred of it. You want it like six, seven hundred. You notice I'm almost dead here. Let's go ahead and recharge it. We have about 300. Now we're down to what, 150. But I want some more, so I'm going to gather up a whole bunch more until that number on my top right hits about six or seven hundred. You're gonna need all of it. It's good to have it because you're also using it in a recipe later. All right, I think we've got just about all we can get. Let's get mine up to 650 and we'll call it. All right, there it is, about 700. We got the rest of the copper too. Now, switch it back over. There we go. And on a medium setting, just gather up the cursed dust if you run across it. You don't have to do it in small amounts if you don't want to. You can. You'll get more. But the cursed dust is worth a lot of money. So you might as well grab it while you can. It's a good boost to what you're going to need later. But... You don't really need it if you don't want to get it. But I'm just showing you what will happen and how much it's worth. I think the value of it is like $9.59 per unit for one, which is really, really good, obviously. But in the space station, it actually sells for, for over 1000 So you get about 1000 per per unit. You get a little bit of bonus for it. So definitely worth having if you can get a large deposit of it, which this is a pretty decent deposit. Okay, that should be enough. Let's take a look. 
So now we can fix this with the 120 of copper. Let's see how much copper we have left, which is 291. That's really good. Don't do anything with it yet. And you see, this is worth 200,000 units, so it's good to have it. At least I think so. And we got two eggs so far. There's another egg over there. Um, that's right, we completed a milestone by installing that. Now this milestone is really, really handy. Let's get in there and claim it, because we're getting our personal refiner mark two. You notice it needs 110 condensed carbon and two more metal plates. We have the oxygen right now, but we're going to need oxygen later, so let's gather up more. So let's put the refiner in to get it started. I'm going to put the oxygen in, knowing that we need more. Let's get the two metal plates real quick. We should have enough ferrite to do that. Yes, we do. And you're going to need more, so always gather up more ferrite. And then we're going to need more condensed carbon. So let's get a, our egg. Before we, we grab the egg, though, make sure you're in your mining beam. There we go. And as we grab the egg, scan, as usual, and look for C+. Again, don't worry about the worm. See, I'm going right through them. Nothing's happening. It seems disconcerting at first, but it's okay. Grab some ferrite while we're here. And your life support power is going to go down. This game, this by the way, this the particular uh, expedition is in normal mode, unlike some of the modes you've had in the past. Some of the other expeditions you had in the past. So you can go all the way down to nothing and then go ahead and re refuel yourself. And since we have our A-class multi-tool, pardon me, our, our A upgrade in there, we can now get those things too, so... All right, let's do a quick scan. We can also get the sodium nitrate now. So gather it up. You're going to need it. You need at least about 90 of it, I think it is. You might need more for other things that I can't recall at the moment. And there we go. That should get us up to about 80 so far. So let's take a look around. we got oxygen near us all over the place. So let's head towards the oxygen for now. Maybe we'll get lucky and we'll run across a patch. I know we're far away from our ship. But that's okay. We got copper already. We do need magnetized ferrite, which we're going to have to find a deposit of that soon. Do another... Before we scan, though, let's look for the magnetized ferrite. We got 824, 220 for that, which was one we need. Magnetized is five, five minutes away. How far is our ship? 759, okay. Copper. Magnetized ferrite, 1200. 715 for that one. Copper. Cursed dust. Okay. So it looks like this one's probably going to be our closest one. Let's go ahead and head that way. Do a quick scan. Watch for eggs because you need a few more. We've got two. There's one right there. I didn't grab it. That's weird. Got it. Yeah, they attacked me. That's okay. Don't worry, we're fine. Ha <laughs> ha! Except I ran out of life support. After telling you, you could you can run out and not have to worry about it. All right, we're not gonna die here. I want I want this uh, condensed carbon. There you go. They can't hit you too easily. They shoot like stormtroopers, as I always say. Okay. This way. And watch for more eggs. We do need more. Be soon. My... There you go. I'm recharging right now. So we're in good shape. We're okay. Don't worry. More condensed carbon over here. We'll head over to there in just a second. I want to get the condensed carbon because we're going to need it. You notice my mining beam's down to 7%. We got 200 condensed carbon, but we want more. There we go. Looks like there's another egg over here, too. So try not to shoot it first before you get all the condensed carbon. Nice. This is a really good deposit over here. I think we're going to have enough. There we go. Got the egg, and we're on our way. 
I think we get about one more egg, we should be in good shape. Now I'm switching over to my terrain manipulator, getting to my smallest setting. This is not a very good deposit of... No, very not good. Let's look for another one. Where's our ship at in, in relation to us right now? That way. First, cursed, cursed. Let's head towards the ship. And see if there's some maybe on the other side. Now while we're at it, we're going to do something else. You notice I just pulled out my bolt caster. Um, one of your other other things we need to do is we need to purge eight hungering, hungering tendrils. The five different rendezvous that we go to are all going to be on a planet that have these things on it. But, much easier to get it on a low atmosphere planet. So as we head out to it, let's fight them while we're here. They should pop up any second. One. And as you shoot them, please gather up as much of the stuff as you can. Because this stuff is worth a lot. It may seem weird to gather it up. But gather it while it's still here, if you can. There we go. Just avoid them while you can. Ooh, thank you. That helped a, that helped a lot. Appreciate it. <laughs> he hit me while I was just jumping into the air and gave me a boost. So that was pretty cool. Ah, you may not think so. Alright, looks like we got some C-plus over here. I'm going to go ahead and grab it. We probably have enough, but it's always good to grab more. There we go. And the oxygen. Obviously, we want to grab oxygen as we can. The more oxygen we can get here, the better. We will get some on other planets, but we need to have a good amount here while we can. And don't worry about the life support. You're going to get an upgrade for your life support that'll help. And how many of uh, those eggs we got? We got five now. Getting one more would be good. I like to have six before I leave a planet. You'll get a lot more, because you are going to have to get some more at some point. Again, the condensed carbon is something you want to have at the beginning. By all means, you need a lot of it. And you'll get more ferrite as you go, too. So don't worry about trying to get some right now if you can't. We'll just need enough to get by. And we'll take a look. Alright, it's time for us to look for... our magnetized ferrite, because we're going to need about 200 of it. Let's see. 811. Okay, let's go for that one. Okay, let's go for that one. I would rather be walking right now, because one of your other goals is you have to walk 9,000 steps. Now you'll notice we're about a half hour into this, about 25, 27 minutes or so. It is going to take you a while. There we go, there's my sixth egg. Wow, there's a lot of uh, caves right in here. This is a good spot. I want to think there might be a patch of oxygen in here someplace. There we go. Magnetized ferrite. That's what we're looking for. Okay, so like I said, you need about 200 of this. If you're in the medium setting, that should work enough for you. They have already got 50. We're up to about 100 now, I think. Let me just check. Yeah, 93. And we do have to fight some more worms here soon. But that's okay. Like I said, you're going to use that a lot. So let's get about 200, like I said. Let's check it. 174. 25 to go. And this deposit should do just fine for what we're looking for here. Let's see. Yep, 210. 
That should do it. Okay, so we're done with that. We should have all the resources we need. Just want to take another look around, make sure there's nothing I'm missing. We're going to switch over to that. And I am going to look through here and see if there's one more burrow nearby. 1,300. Right there. Let's head towards that one. You notice we're running low on, on, on our life support again. And let's see. Oh, there it is. My bad. We're going to do the life support early this time so I don't mess up. Okay, here we go. We need four more. One. Two. Three. Pick up your stuff on the ground. Try to run if you can. I only got three of them. That's okay. And there's the fourth one. And he's done. There we go. We're recharged. Pick up the last one. Alright, we're done. Just bounce over him. And make your way back to your ship. And you'll see what we're going to do with all that vile spawn we picked up later. Use the low atmosphere to your advantage. Switch back over to mining beam. That should be the last time you actually have to use your guns. Alright, we're back. Let's start fixing things. So first things first, we can now get this installed. And we're done there. Let's charge it up. We need a little more of the condensed carbon that we picked copious amounts of. We need a couple different things. So let me get started with the ship. The ship is needing repair. We need 50 magnetized ferrite, which we just got. So that's 50 of it that we used up. We also need a hermetic seal, a metal plate, and 45 deuterium. So let's make the metal plate, the hermetic seal, again, made from oxygen. We get this fixed now. Now, but where do we get the deuterium from? Now, the recipe, if you were to look it up online, is different from what it is in this particular run-through here. It's made from silicate powder and dihydrogen. Now, you need 45 to repair this shit. My suggestion is to get 90. Because you also have to find and repair a broken ship. So, let's get what we can here. Now, hang on to these. We're going to be using these in just a little bit. The uh, flesh rope and the vial spawn here in just a little bit. You can get rid of any relics that you picked up along the way. We don't need those. Uh, cursed dust we're going to be selling along with the worm skin folio. Now, while we're waiting for this to finish, and it should be done in just a moment, let's collect our rewards. We're going to get an upgrade for our starship. I suggest putting it up here because you're going to need it. For some of the upgrades you're going to get. The other thing we're going to get is still they hunger. We're getting some other stuff that's going to come in very handy. And that's the food that we just got. The last but not least, we're going to get self-reliance. This is for building our backpack refiner. And we get some things out of that. So let's check our inventory. And first thing we got is a life support module. Yes, by all means install it. A movement module too, which should be better than the other one that's next to it. Put it in your supercharged slot. That'll give you a little boost along the way. The manuscript isn't worth much, but you're going to sell it anyway. And you notice we got all this here, down here. We also got our six larval cores. And we also have our three Gecknip that we just acquired. And we're going to sell that too. Hang on to your save beacon for, I don't know, for good safekeeping. You also just received three more life support gels. So you're in good shape and this food is going to be worth it to you. Let's go in here. Remove our deuterium, our dihydrogen, our powder. Let's make some other stuff. Now, one of the other milestones, let's take a look. So we're going to leave the planet here soon, now that the ship is repaired. We got to visit the space station. We're going to warp to a new system, which means we're going to have to get a warp drive. And we have to destroy some asteroids. But let's take a look at other things you can do while here. 
So we need to get 16 eggs. We've got six. We're going to get the other 16, the other 10, pardon me, when we get to where we're going in Rendezvous 1. But you can use these eggs that you just gathered now. They do count. So keep that in mind. What are we going to use them for? I'll show you. The other thing we want to do is we want to repair our equipment. It says the current objective is to repair your multi-tool, but if you repair your ship too, this will be completed before you can finish repairing your entire multi-tool. We'll show you how to do that in just a moment. And the reason for it is the salvage data times 40. You don't need it, so you're going to sell it. It's worth a lot of money. You're going to need that. So we're going to be doing that as well. Over here, we can't do either one of these. We can't discover any plants except for the oxygen plants if you want. It's really not worth it right now to, to worry about that. But we'll worry about all these things here later, including the crash ship. And then, let's see here. We have some waypoints we're going to charter on the next planet. And let's see. We need to earn 1,600 nanites. And that's what I'm about to show you how to do. There's not much more to do over here. So we're going to leave it alone. So let me show you how we're going to earn those nanites. So... First things first, let's go over here. Here's your personal refiner. Remember these things? They're worth a lot of money, I know. Drop them in here, turn them into nanites. That happens real quick. You just made 300. The other eight of these, put them in here, they give you another 400. And then finally, remember that last thing, the vile spawn? It's not worth a lot of money. But it's worth a lot of nanites. You just made 1,100 nanites in one shot. You see that? 1,100 nanites. Very good start to all this. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to put the metal in here and we're going to get it going because we're going to turn that into ferrite dust. You see, we're at 214, which is fine. You're going to need more. You're going to need a lot more. So we've got enough nanites to get ourselves going for now, but we are going to need more later. And we'll get that other 500 without any problem whatsoever at this point. Let's finish the repairs to our ship. So here it is. We've got our deuterium now. But while we're here, we've got 95 copper extra that we didn't do anything with. Let's fix the ship. You've got 75 condensed carbon extra. Fix the ship. You've got 35 oxygen. You need a battery. We're going to do that in a minute. Let's use the oxygen to fix that. And then down here, 80 magnetized ferrite. Remember I told you to get 200 of it? That's why. So where are you going to get the batteries from? Remember that cobalt I had you get? And combined with your ferrite, you can now make batteries. Make a few. Make about 10 batteries or so, and you should be fine. Back to your starship. You can now fix the last spot in your starship. It's now finished. So it's done. Move things around so you can get them out of the way and they're not... Uh, getting in the way of anything. You're not going to really need these too much, but what I would do is I would put that in there later. For now, use your pulse drive in there just for the time being. It's just going to give it a little boost and help you get places a little quicker. Alright, what's that next? The next is that we should launch our ship, but we're not done yet. Why? Because we haven't fixed our multi-tool. Let's do that. Jump over here to the multi-tool. We need 40, 40 sodium nitrate. Good thing we gathered it all, didn't we? We got that. What do we need down here? 60 chromatic metal. We don't have it yet, but we can make a carbon nanotube and a hermetic seal. And the last location over here, we see 40 sodium nitrate. We do have it. And this one requires 50 cobalt. Aren't you glad we got some extra? And there we go. And now our supercharged slots are available. Like I said, they're not going to be available to you, though. Most likely, your multi-tool won't have them, but I'm going to stick, of all things, you're not going to believe it, I'm putting my, my uh, mining beam in here because I need that later on. So let's get chromatic metal and the carbon nanotube. And you see it, it's completed as vital salvage. So let's just real quick here. We need, we need to get this out of here first. There we go. And we're going to need... Uh, let's see, we need chromatic metal and we need carbon nanotube. So let's make that... Except to do that, we need carbon, which we do not have at this point, which we can get real easily. But we can wait, and I'll show you why. So we'll worry about that later. Second thing we want to do is make the... Let me see, where's our copper at? There it is, 196. We're going to use up all of our copper now. We're going to make chromatic metal. And while that's being made, you don't have to stay here and stay put. 
Now your life support may be down a little low. These units down here give you 40% towards life support, so go ahead and hang on to them in case you need them. But we're really kind of done with this planet. We don't really need to be staying here anymore. So it's time for us to leave. Let's take our ship. I prefer to go into first person view. Thank you very much. And we'll go ahead and take off. Any more supplies we need are going to be gotten at other planets. So in your first 40 minutes, that's pretty much what you're going to be doing. Now you remember it told you to do certain other things. Now I'm going to show you one more thing that you can do here. And I forgot about this. I feel terrible. Let me go ahead and land one more time. Dummy. I was just shown this today and I want to share it with you. So I, we get the milestone of leaving the planet. But make believe we get that later. Let me just land for a second. I want to show you what I'm talking about. There's a milestone in here. Uh, let's see. It's right here. Still small voice. Become serene in the face of infinity. To get this, exit your ship and just stare at the sky. That's all you have to do. Keep your character steady and don't do anything. Now, I haven't seen a sentinel before on this planet, but it looks like we have one floating around. And you need to stay here, as you can see, for 60 seconds. This is the easiest planet to do it, so as long as you're not near a burrow, nothing's going to attack you. There's no weather events that are going to occur to knock you silly. Just stay put. That's all you have to do. Give it the 60 seconds, and you're done with this particular one. It gives you a break. It gives you a moment to, do, to, to think about what you want to do next. But keep in mind, you can't go into your menus and do things. And hopefully the worms don't get in your way, because if they, if they block your eyesight to the heavens, you're going to have to start over again. But we have less than 10 seconds, so we should be okay. And five, four, three, two, one, time's up. And there you go. So we have another milestone completed. So let's take off again. You notice it's taking us towards the space station. And while you're on your way to the space station to be more efficient, by all means, go into your menu and start claiming your rewards. So we got something out of that. And we'll take a look at that in just a second. We got another reward over here. We Remember, we repaired everything. So there's our second thing. But go ahead and upgrade your multi-tool because you're going to need it. You get all kinds of recipes out of it, and your multi-tool goes to a Class B. And finally, we're going to get our three memory fragments. So let's go ahead and install this. Uh, this is for our scanner. I'm going to put that up there. Uh, this is our for our launch fuel. And you should have three memories somewhere. Oh, there they are. One, two, three. And these usually give you upgrades. Rocket boots, I'm not tickled about. Hyperdrive is up to you if you want to put it in here. I am. And you got an optical drill out of it. So I got lucky here. That's in the wrong spot. There we go. All right. And we are at the space station. So let's go ahead and head on in. Now we're going to get the asteroids after I run into the station, obviously. We're going to get the asteroids on the way out. There we go. That was terrible. Terrible. I'm so sorry. Ignore that. How embarrassing. So stay in your ship for now. Go ahead and go through the, uh, the communication that comes up. I'm not going to read this all to you. You read it at your heart's content. When you do the milestones, I guess. It tells you the story and everything that's going on behind us. So we're in an abandoned station. You're going to get an achievement once you get through this tunnel. So head over here towards the trade terminal. And there it is. You can claim the reward real quick. This is in phase one right here. It gives you hyperdrive plans and a signal booster and something called a surge battery. We're going to teach you about that in a later episode. So before you try to buy anything because you don't have any money, you got to sell some stuff. So let's drop down and get rid of the worm skin fo folio for a whopping 2484, the cursed dust for 215,000, the manuscript for 2000, the nip nip buffs for 137,000, and as you scroll down, you should come across your ship's inventory. So let's go into there, and we're going to find our salvage data there for $2 million. Do not sell 
the hypnotic eye. You will need it for a recipe later. Do not sell this. Carrying on. So now we have 2.3 million, almost 2.4 million in our inventory here. What do we need? Let's start at the bottom. We need one, count it, one fecium. That's it. Just grab it. You'll need it for a recipe later. Grab the, the rusted metal. All of it. It's only 8,000. You don't need any of these, but the silicate powder is always good to have, so you might as well grab it. Make sure you're putting it in your exosuit inventory, by the way. I made that mistake. And the carbon. Obviously, you're going to need that. So let's jump in here real quick and take a look. Um, this we're never, ever actually going to sell. Let me put it in my inventory. I'm going to put that in the inventory and that in my other inventory. Real quick, just transferring it over. So... The rocket boots, I don't like them. Sometimes it gives you an airburst engine, airburst boots. Take it, uninstall it, and you're going to get product out of it. Tritium, always good for your ship. And you've got a hydraulic wiring, which is useless to you, so you might as well sell it. While you're here in this inventory and while you're doing other things, you'll notice that we do have our 98 chromatic metal. We're going to need a lot more. Put your marabobes in there and get yourself some sodium nitrate. You're going to need it. Or sodium out of that. And then once the sodium is done in here, once you get your 203 sodium, just turn it into sodium nitrate, just dump it right back in, and then you can work on your rusted metal. This is a two, the 1 to 2 ratio, so you're going to end up with 600 more ferrite, and that should give you 1,000. You should be good for the rest of the run. You won't need any more. Period. End of story. All right, excellent. So now what are we going to do? So we're still here. I'm still standing here, and you guys are wondering, why am I still standing in front of this uh, trade terminal? Well, you're going to start buying things. The first thing you're going to buy is on this page, the second page, the arms. Not the tech yet, just do the arms. 212000 each. We could get 10 of them. It's going to be expensive. My suggestion is, is get about six. Buy them all. Get back into your inventory and open them. Here we are, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Occasionally, you'll get something of great value. But you're not going to need any of these upgrades at all. Install, uninstall. Keep doing this. Uninstall, uninstall. And we're just going to keep doing that. Why? What is it doing for us? I mean, those are good weapons, right? We can really use pulse spitters and stuff like that. Don't worry about it. You're done fighting. You're trying to get cadmium for, first of all, so you need 250 of this. We got 125. By installing and uninstalling that. And the second thing you need is wiring looms. We now have six of those. You might even get some chromatic metal out of some of this. So this is a good thing. Looks like we've got a couple unstable plasmas, which we're probably not going to be using here at all. And just keep doing things while you're here. Back to the trade terminal. We don't have enough money to get a too, too much more, but let's buy at least three more. You see, I can't buy the last three, but that's okay. Let me see what we end up with, shall we? All right, so we didn't get any extra money, which I was hoping to get. But that's okay. It looks like we got exactly what we were hoping to get, though. So you notice we now have 250 cadmium, which we really desperately needed. We also have seven, eight, nine, nine wiring looms. Really be nice to have at least one more. Now, with the rest, last of our money... What I'm going to do is I'm going to buy, let's see, at 458, instead of getting the arms like I'd like to get, I'm going to get the Suspicious Tech. At 119 each, I think I can get three of them. There we go. You don't need that much money later, so just go ahead and spend what you have now. If you're lucky, you'll get something of high value, which we didn't seem to get. I got something that was worth nanites. If you want to keep these, it's not a bad idea because you really could use a boost to your your pulse engine. It should help it a lot, but you're moving your pulse engine anyway. We're going to put it over here, and I'm going to put my hyperdrive over here. I need, you can see, 125 chromatic metal, and I need five microprocessors. But don't worry, we're going to get them later. So we're up to nine wiring looms. See, got some more chromatic metal and a tenth wiring loom. That's really, really good. So we're in good shape while we're here. Now we have the sodium nitrate we were wanting. But we got other things we can do. Let's put the rusted metal in here and start it going. Make sure you charge this up with some of the carbon and get it going. So what do we have left? We have the fecium. We're going to need it for a recipe later. We need to sell these. We're going to sell them off. We still have some magnetized ferrite left. 
But now you also notice you'll also have some uh, other stuff in your ship here. You notice we have a little bit of silver. That's going to be good. You're going to need that later. So hang on to that. Tritium, we're going to load that up with. All right. So now we can use our chromatic metal in here. Let's go ahead and do that. We're almost out, but we're going to get more. So don't worry about it. Okay, I think we're just about ready. Let's sell those three things off so they're not in my inventory anymore. We want to free up the space, and we just don't want to throw it away. Hydraulic wiring, the two plasmas. So that gives us a little bit of extra money. Can we buy anything? I'm not sure. Yeah, we need about 5,000 more to get that. So we can't buy any more tech, but usually you get some nice valuable items out of it. And if you do, sell the items, buy more tech. So you need at least 10 wiring looms, and it looks like we have it. But you'll get other items along the way as rewards that you can spend on that. So we're coming down to the last few minutes here. As we jet out of here, and you leave the space station, head straight out, and you should run into an asteroid field just here to the right. And there you go. Take out 40 asteroids. We're going to do that just a little bit at a time here. Go for the smaller ones too, but you, you need a couple different things. You Obviously, you're going to need some tritium. Don't worry about shooting the space station. Nobody's going to come after you, I don't think. I haven't had anybody come after me yet. Not really interested in the platinum if you get any. Yeah, I got some. What do you know? You need tritium, you need gold. Gold is going to be very important. So once you think you have enough tritium, aim for the darker rocks if you can. And sooner or later you're going to get an alert indicating, yep, you've broken 40 asteroids. You do have these floating jellyfish around. That's something that they got added to this. Don't worry about it. All right, let's see how many we ended up with. Yeah, okay, you got 200 of it. We got only 27 gold. So we're going to show you how to take care of that later. So we need more gold, but we're going to get it from this planet. So head down. This is a high energy activated copper, which means you're going to have some bad storms here. Anytime you see activated anything, you got bad storms. One of the other milestones you have in here is going to be finding, where is it, waypoints. These are those little campsites that have the uh, objects in it you have to select. I suggest finding at least three on each planet you land on. So as far as you, you come down into the atmosphere, go ahead and do a scan, look for a little house. Every single house you find, every single little unknown building, is going to be a campsite of some sort. The only one you don't really care about is going to one be the ones that have a uh, uh, beacon. They don't count towards you. Can't believe I landed on the hill right in front of it. So head over here. Save and chart. That's all you have to do. You don't have to stay there. These storms are nasty. I'm going to tell you that right now. That's one of the reasons why you made the batteries you have. So walk back here, grab this. Sometimes it gives you activated data. Uh, pardon me, it gives you uh, landing stuff. Other times it gives you nanites. Nanites are what you're looking for. And these plants inside on this planet, you can search them three times. You see? I got 21. 63. I got 63 extra carbon out of that. Back inside. Grab the nanites. If you want to learn a word, go right ahead. If you want to grab that, that's two. That's good too. Now, the, the second thing that happens on these planets is wind events. So a tornado could grab you here. You have to be careful. Okay? But another thing that they do have... See? That's the wind event that they're talking about. So try, if you can, to get yourself a couple of storm crystals in the middle of the storm. Watch your radiation. You don't need many of them. Two or three isn't more than enough, and you're not getting it for the money. See, look at the storm. Storm's over there. The only way you're going to survive one, inside the ship. So now that we've done this one spot, let's go ahead and take off and go somewhere else, because the tornadoes won't follow us unless another wind event occurs. So let's do another scan. 
And a lot of times the campgrounds around here are going to be tight. You usually find some pretty group to get uh, well grouped together. Some of them are not marked, so be careful. You may just fly right over them and don't, don't even realize it. Yeah, it's turning me out to be a liar, right? I've already done three or four scans, and I can't find one single place to land right now. And I, but I'm telling you, it, I usually do. I usually find a whole group of them right near each other. The storms on this planet also last unbearably long, and I don't know why that is. You're interested in being near water, so try to stay near the water if you can. There's one, finally. Prove me to be a liar. Come on now. Make me out to be one anyway. Alright, this one's a water-based one. That's okay. Not to hit the ground like I did. And it likes to produce wind events whenever you exit your ship, so just keep an eye open. Okay, there it is. Alright, so we need more chromatic metal, correct? So, there it is, the incoming storm again. Alright, so I think what we're going to do here, this episode is going to keep doing this unless we get into that, uh... Until we get rid of all this here, so... Hang on just a second, looks like the storm is breaking up finally. So we're going to cover something in the next episode. You've gotten enough, like we're an hour into this and it already seems like it's taking forever. But while we wait for all this to dissipate, let me show you something real quick here. You've got six, count them, six different milestones completed on the first one. That is giving you some nice stuff, right? So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to use them up here, right here. One, two, three. I'm going to use them right over there. So I can keep them kind of grouped together like that, okay? You got surge batteries out of this too. That's going to be very handy. But keeping an eye on what you got, you got six of the milestones completed here. Seven. Keep going. Eight, nine, ten. You've can create. You've already completed ten milestones. And before we leave, we're going to complete this one. As we leave the system, we will have completed. Hang on, looking. We will discover plants. We can find a crash ship on here, so that'll be uh, an 11th and 12th. Okay, we got 12 milestones. Get some more waypoints, of course. We should be able to get past this, too. So 12 waypoints. Uh, milestones, pardon me. And that should be it. So you'll have about 12 milestones completed by the time you leave here which is equivalent to like one and a half, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, yeah, so one and a half phases completed as you're leaving here. Don't worry about the launch thrusters, trust me, you'll have a plenty of stuff to get from here. One of the things you'll wanna keep doing before we leave, I just wanna let you know, is to scan all the animals you can and scan as many plants as you can. There's not a lot of plant life on this planet. The only plants you're gonna find are these purple things and they don't give you a whole lot. But the things you're looking for, and that we'll cover in the next episode, is uranium. We need uranium a little bit. You don't need much. It's more of a, a if you want to get some. And you're also looking for some heptaloid wheat. You just need one serving of it. Oh, let me scan those animals real quick. Oh, scan those animals over there real quick. I'm going to keep saying that. You're going to hear me say it quite often. And let me see what else we got here. A lot of stuff over here. Damaged machinery, grawberries, ah, the armored clams. We're going to be going for clams in a little bit too, and I'll show you. I'll show you why in the next episode. So we got uranium deposits here, but we're looking for activated copper. That's really the ones we're looking for. So in the next episode, we're going to land at another milestone. We're going to be near the water. We're going to get some crystal sulfides. Lots of other stuff that we're going to be doing in the next episode. So please stay tuned. This one is coming out on the weekend that this all started. And let me get a wave in. Hold on. You know, I like to wave at everybody. Thank you very much for walking, watching and hit that like and subscribe. But 
as we go into my ship real quick because I don't want to die. We're just going to explain. We're going to complete a few more of the milestones while we're here and we're going to show as we go from system to system. So this one is coming out on the weekend that it uh, it was first released. So June 2nd, you're going to see this episode. And then there will be one more or two more episodes that will come out later in the week that are going to show you two next stages to this. Will we complete it all within the three hours? Who knows? But maybe we'll be able to do that and we'll show you how it's done. Well, folks, thank you again for watching. Hit the like, hit the subscribe if you like what you've been watching. Really appreciate you, and we'll see you in the next episode. Take care.